Hi guys, back again. Just a short video today. Um, since fitting the lift kit, the uh, the wife's finding it a bit difficult to get into the van. Uh, obviously, it's got dodgy knees and it struggles to get in. So I've purchased a set of um, motorhome side steps. Uh, so basically, that are that are approximately oh, 18 inches, two foot long, and they fit underneath the uh, the driver and passenger side doors uh, attached to the sill and there's a couple of little brackets that um, bolt onto the chassis uh, now in the kit you get everything everything you need you get the uh, the little tech screws to screw into the chassis all the nuts bolts washers everything's um, labeled set of instructions and I think I paid 79 pound for them off eBay uh, the only thing I didn't like about them was the uh, the colour. They come in um, silver anodised aluminium. Uh, so I purchased some um, truck bed liner paint, buffed them down, and um, give them a couple of well, give them a coat of edge primer and a couple of coats of the um, bed liner paint. Uh, it's a little bit more hard wearing than normal spray. So. What I'll do, I'll show you now what they look like, and I'll show you what they look like. Well, I'll show you the one side. I've fitted one side already, um, but I'll show you what actually came in the box and how you fit them to the vehicle. Right, as you can see, that's what they look like on. They don't stick out too much, they're not too obtrusive. So, and as you see, when you look down the side of the van. They don't really stick out that much more than the wheels anyway. Now, as you can see, obviously all the nuts and bolts are strewn all over the place. These are the actual... Uh, everything's all in little individual bags and labelled up. So, they're the nuts and washers to attach the uh, the brackets onto the step. I'm saying it's uh, pretty much... Uh, there you go, nuts and bolts brackets to fit everything to the sill lip, which are all these down here, and these little tech bolts, these are the ones that you use to secure the bracket up onto the chassis. Now obviously you get some photographs with, I say that little picture is what they did look like, but I say I've dismantled them and sprayed them all black. Uh, and depending on which chassis you've got, and depends on which actual bracket they send out to you. So, obviously, there you go. These are the ones I've got that require two holes drilling in. And there you go. And there, uh, I should this off. This is the bracket. When he actually sends them out, he actually assembles, puts a nut in on the sill so you know which bracket goes where and how they, uh, they fit. And then he attaches one of the brackets. Now, these actually bolt on and that's the little tech screw that goes into the chassis there. Right, I'll just uh, show you where they're fitted. Well, the best thing to actually do is find out roughly where you want the bracket and clamp it in place. So you can drill the two little holes into the, uh, the base of the sill, just there. So while it's clamped into place, you just pre-drill a couple of marks. There's the one there and the other in there, just so you know where you're going to drill into. Take the bracket off and then drill the holes through. Now it says to mount the bracket on this side, but because you've got one of the drainage vents just here, so any water that gets in the sill will drain out. There's one there, there's a couple all along the sill. I've decided to bolt it at the back because it's actually straight where there's you ain't got that little lump plus it pushes the bracket inside a little bit right that's the two holes drilled um, what I've actually done is sprayed a small amount of um, 
etch primer into the holes and around the holes um, but what I also do I bond them on so on the bolts I put a little bit of PU adhesive on the bolts and the washers so when they're pressed into place it actually bonds and seals and seals in the hole and then on the back of the bracket just along here because I'm bolting it on the inside I'll put a line of PU adhesive along the back and a little bit along the top so everything's sealed so no water can get down back and um, get behind it and get into the cell right I'll just go and get the bolts so they're the two bolts they're the um, M6 M6 bolts there you go there's a uh, large flat washer and PU adhesive behind the washer and in front of the washer so once it gets uh, pushed through and bolted up it'll all squeeze out uh, forming a seal and all I'll do is just a uh, bit of spit on the finger lick it, smooth it all off and then after once it's all in place I'll uh, spray over the top of them um, stop them going rusty they do come with uh, little black caps they actually come with uh, little black caps that you can put on the uh, the head of the nut um, but I, I won't be bother, bothering fitting these so obviously I'll just spray them with uh, I've got some um, colour match white paint so I'll spray all the bottom of the sill over with um, some white paint to protect the nuts alright now this is the step I've just got to uh, pull it all back together there's a uh, rubber trim that goes down the middle and then there's the plastic end caps that fit either end and bolt in place I've also got to put the block the other bolts in the tracks and these are the bolts to um, attach it to the brackets on the van I've just come inside to do that though because it's uh, persisting down with rain at the moment there you go that's the, uh, the step all back together these four bolts these are what go through into the bracket I think they're M8 um, and they bolt on with uh, nylock nuts so they ain't going to move and then you uh, you fit the end caps on and the uh, little rubber trim down the middle don't look too bad if I don't even say so myself yeah, I much prefer the black to uh, shiny silver aluminium right that's the step fitted and where it was bolted on as you can see I've just sprayed over that with some white paint which I've got colour matched for the van and now I'm going to attach the brackets underneath now that's how the brackets bolt on they screw in to the chassis rail um, you don't really need anything substantial to, uh, to bolt them in place just some tech screws because when you actually step on the step it's like um, a seesaw effect it's actually pushing onto the chassis so what I'll do I've marked where the uh, hole needs to be drilled I'll shove a pilot hole through it first um, and then I'll put some PU adhesive bond that all in place um, that'll uh, stop any uh, water or moisture getting inside the chassis um, it is under sealed and galvanised but obviously I don't want any water getting inside or any corrosion so that's what I'll do next right be back in a minute there you go that's um, both brackets pre-drilled screwed in with tech bolts and bonded in with polyurethane adhesive so it's a sealer as well as a glue a bit like tiger seal but this is white not black 
Just hear that noise you can hear in the background if it's uh, getting on your nerves. That's my diesel eater. So, there you go. That's all tightened up. Right. That's how you fit a pair of uh, side steps to a Fiat Ducato. They, um, they're also compatible with the um, Citroen Relay and the Peugeot Boxer and obviously the uh, the Ram Promaster if you're in the, the States obviously you'd have to buy them from um, a different supplier um, I think they're manufactured in China and that, that the chap just has them shipped over here and then he uh, sells them on, on eBay but I say they've, they've done the trick um, I say I had a, uh, a 3 inch lift kit fitted um, about a month and a half, two months ago, and it's uh, raised the van considerably. And um, when it comes to getting in, uh, although it's only three inches, it is noticeable. So I've fitted these steps, and it does make it a lot easier to get in the van. Um, I haven't got to grab hold of the steering wheel now to pull myself in like uh, I used to. So if you've enjoyed this video, um, or if you've got any questions, just whack it in the comments down below. Um, if you don't mind giving it a, a thumbs up, give it a like, it will help. If you ain't liked it, just give it a thumbs down as well. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, there's um, I think there's about 44, 45 videos on my channel um, detailing what I've done on the van build so far. So you can have a look at my previous videos. Right guys, uh, I'll catch you all later. Thanks again.